Welcome back, guys, to a review of... So, I went to my Walmart today. I found the Regular Edge, the Chase Variant, King Corbin, Andrew McIntyre. So, we're going to be doing a review on them today. So, um, I guess let's go ahead and start with a Corbin. So, I'm just going to take the boxes out of here. So, let me just... Yeah, so, um, starting off with King Corbin, uh, the serve, uh, the authentic whatever. King Corbin, picture of him right there. Comes with the hands, uh, crown, which is falling off his head. His scepter and coat, truth, truth X. A uh, picture of Corbin on the side. Uh, the rest of the people is Edge, McIntyre, Dusty Rhodes, King Corbin, and Sasha Banks. They had everyone, but I just got ones that I wanted. Um, there's the, um, backs up if you want to read it. Um... There's another side, and then top, really nothing, bottom, uh, Sleet Series 83. So, yeah, let's go ahead and crack him open. Now, I'm not going to be, you know, uh, I'm not going to um, actually edit me taking it out of the box because I don't feel like editing because, uh, because I've been filming more of Rumble. So, I don't really feel like, uh, you know, editing. So, uh, just letting y'all know on that, so, this is video, is, so this video should be a little bit on the longer side. Alright, so, now let's take a look at, uh, King Corbin out of the box. So, uh, here we have King Corbin right here, while well, I actually stood perfectly, but let's go ahead and put the crown on him. This reminds me of the one that came with, a uh, Dal well, Angela Dawkins, well, An Montez Ford. Uh, so if this will go on his head, it's having trouble, but there we go. And then uh, I guess we'll go ahead and also put his cape on there with him. So let's just go ahead and plug that in. I gotta take the scepter off his hand and do it. So um, here's the scepter. Uh, it's really just plain black. Uh, so there's that. Um, and let's plug that in. All right, so here is King Corbin right there. Uh, he also comes with these uh, type of grappling hands. I saw these come with the Ultimate Edition Finn Balor. That's the only place I've ever really seen him use. Uh, you can also, um, but uh, yeah, so these are those hands. I just got done, oh, I actually got done painting this the other day. It's a uh, custom lead Jay White. So that's that. So um, yeah, but so this is King Corbin. Um, I don't get why, but this reminds me of chocolate milk and regular milk. I don't know why, but that's what it reminds me of. Looking off the bat at it, so you know, nice texturing on it. That's how it looks on the back, and um, it is kind of a brown bronze chain. Um, I wish it, I think it was gold, but I can't really remember. You can take it out of this one, I think too. So um. Now, uh, let's take a closer look at the crown here. So, it is a uh, very small and very detailed. So, um, that's the crown, if y'all want to look at Well, if y'all look at it. Now, here is the actual King Corbin. Uh, I think this is a Jeff Hardy torso. I don't really know. But uh, that's what it reminds me of. I don't really have no one next to me that I can compare it to. And uh, then we have the arms, which I think the arms look uh, pretty good. Uh, the head is a little bit different color than the torso, I think. And you you could probably tell it better than me, but then. So, here we have his tight. Oh, yeah, let's get a look at his tattoos. So, that is his tattoos. And then, uh, does have one right here and right there. And then, these are his, uh, tights, uh, in the days right there. And then, uh, that says King Corbin right there. And uh, then just regular plain attire. So we're going to stand King. Well, actually, let me just put this back on him real quick. And then I guess we'll take a look at uh, Drew McIntyre next. So now, uh, you know, actually, uh, let me get out my uh, other Corbin real quick so I can do a quick comparison. Uh, I think I. Uh, Alright, here it is. Yeah. So this is the very first uh, Elite King Corbin. As you see, this one is a lot taller than this one right here. This is the very first Elite King Corbin. Well, not Elite King Corbin, but Elite Baron Corbin, not King Corbin. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at Drew McIntyre. 
Box is pretty much the same. Uh, Drew McIntyre on the side, side, bottom, back. There's some of his achievements if you want to read them. So Drew McIntyre is pretty much the same. So let's go ahead and crack him out of the box as well. All right, so he looks like, let's go ahead and pop out the hands and then pop. Him out. All right, so here is Drew McIntyre with the updated skin tone and his jacket and everything. So I guess let's take a look at the hands first. So these are uh, the hands right there. Um, nice. I think I guess you would kind of call it like when he's running, like trying to do claymore. I don't know, but I'm gonna call them throne sitting hands for now. And uh, then here's the actual Drew McIntyre figure with the uh, jacket on. Uh, I think the jacket looks pretty good. Um, my first time having the actual jacket, I got the Survivor Series Drew McIntyre, and but there was a loose foot thing. I thought I fixed it though, but you know it's great to have another Drew McIntyre, cause I'll probably make that into the I'll probably make the other one into the one where he was wearing the face paint. I think it was a uh, Fastlane. But let's take a look at the head. This is a this new smiling head with the kind of little fade on the side with the brown and then the black long hair, and um, there is really a uh, I guess I'll show you the uh logo on the back of his trunk so that's the logo it's kind of a skull with a sword kind of reminds me of the um event from a uh, fortnite i forgot which one it was the uh, monster versus robot and there's the swords making an x and a, another sword making an x right there then you have the chest hair and this is a different skin tone than the first one is first one was kind of a little lighter nothing on the knee pads black boots pretty much that so not really much with the McIntyre, but we will stand him right there if he will stand. Now, the one that I cannot, the one that I personally cannot wait for is the Edge. Now, I did ha I did happen to uh, find the Chase variant Keith Lee and also the regular ver variant, so it's great to have a Chase variant Edge and regular variant Edge. Because the only Edge I have is the one that I was using on my show, which is the... Uh, which is the, uh, oh, I, th I didn't even show the box. I'll, I'll show the other box. But, you know, this is how the uh, Edge box uh, looks. That fell uh, Here are some of his uh, achievements. There you go. Uh, yeah, King Corbin fell, if you will stand, Mr. King. All right, so let's take a look at the shirt first. Cause I do like the, the I, look, I do like the uh, shirt that came with it. No, it does have sleeves. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for right now. And uh, as you see, it says uh, Edge with the his hand gesture and roses and a skull right there. And then it has the rated up with a rated R logo. Um, and uh, hold, on. let me uh, actually. But uh, there are these sleeves right there. So that's how that is. So let's take a look at the interchangeable hands. Uh, if I can get it out. So he does come with these uh, uh, mic holding hands for both hands. So that fell, but uh, you get a you do get a pair of those. Let's put that right there. All right. So now let's take a look at the rated R superstar Edge, who is wearing red uh, elbow pads. Here is a look at the rated R superstar Edge. Um, now, this is the same logo we saw on the shirt right here, just different colors. And also the rated R logo right here. Um, different logo right here. Uh, this is kind of like a, a burgundy red for the kick pads. And I know these shoes are supposed to be silver. I'll probably paint them up like that, like um, MDT did. And then we do have his, uh, I think I think he got updated tattoos, I think. Because I think he did get some more, but if they are, then they are. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, all right. So, um, this is the Edge head, which I think looks, I think it looks pretty good. I think it's definitely the best one we got. Uh, we have, um, the wrist tape right there with the tattoo right there and red elbow pad. Tattoos right there. That's basically the same thing. And, um, then we have the gray attire right here with the rated R logo and white, black, and red. Then the another logo that we saw on the shirt, white, black, and red. The white, black, and the white and black uh, rated R logos. That's the same right here. And then you know the uh, edge kick pads right there. 
So, um, it's really just a quick review because, you know, uh, but I guess I can go ahead and put the shirt on. Let me see how he looks with the shirt. So, let me put that on him. Oh, right, if that will go on there. So, here's how the shirt looks on him. Uh, let me Velcro that in the back. So, that's how it looks on him. I think it looks pretty good. So, I guess we will get Edge right here. Put him with his accessories. Now we're gonna get on to the Chase variant, which is the one I was most excited for. Because my Walmart usually doesn't get anything in. So when I saw this, I was, you know, like and I do and um my Sammy Guevara Santana and Ortiz is supposed to be uh coming today. So if I do get that in, so if that does come today, uh, I will do a review on that. Uh so here we have the same shirt um for the Chase variant. And my uh, Christian fan takeover will be here sometime in June, so I can't wait to uh, have him in the pick in the pick bed. Uh, so he does come with the uh, same hands as the uh, regular. And then, uh, oh well. we gotta get uh, this off his hands. All right, there we go. All right, so we're gonna put that right there. We're gonna come right here. So good to know we do have these rubber bands for at least torsos so that is lovely and we'll put them right there now here we have uh, the one that i'm most anticipating the chase variant aka mdt calls it the guns and roses attire so we have kind of a i think this is the same color that the shirt is on the basic edge it's kind of like a yellowy brown kind of like a brown mustard type look i could say uh he has the red shoes right here it kind of goes a little bit on the kick pads but you know that's all good we had this same logo, just different colors. Uh, then we, this one is red, black, and white on this. And then we do have the uh, same logo, just in different colors, as I said. Radar logo right there. Now, I do think the Cesaro torso would be the best for this. Uh, like MDT said, I do think the Cesaro, the Cesaro torso would be the best choice for Edge because of how ripped he's got. But, you know, we do have the hands. Then this has r different wrist tape. It's black with a silver and red star. Does The other one just has a rated R logo on it. Then, you know, same exact head. Um, I would I would have liked for the uh, Chase variant to maybe come with a, you know, kind of more pissed off head. I think that would have been nice. And uh, then, you know, you have all his tattoos up there. You have black uh, elbow pads this time. And, you know, just look at... Let's just take a look at this. Because this... Now, hold up. Uh, actually, let me get Edge real quick. Because I want to... I just want to bring to everyone's attention something real quick quick if i can find it i'm pretty sure i laid it right over here when i was done filming um let me get it real quick all right here we go so um i did uh i did do a hand swap and put uh so that on there but um yeah so let's take a look at this real quick so you have these edges right here he basically wore this attire at Royal Rumble, and I put these knee pads on there. But basically what you want to do, if you ever want to, you can get some decals, like the decals of this right here, and put it on here, and then put the head on here, and you swap the arms and shoulders and everything. Just put Cesaro torso. And you basically have a Royal Rumble edge right here that, you know, just waiting to be made. So, you know, if I do ever find an extra one of these, and, you know, an extra, you know, well, I mean, they, I know they have another edge, but, you know, I will definitely maybe try and do that one day because I think that would be really sick. But um, that is basically the, if I can get these to stand, that is basically the end of the review today. Um, a little bit on the longer side of videos. Well, it's only 14 minutes, but, you know, just, I do, I did want to take a look at this Jay, they just going to fall, but I do want to take a look at this Jay White that I did the other day. It's a Finn Balor, uh, it's Finn Balor arms and torso, and then, you know, some hands I painted black, put some glove things on there, but when you take it off and you put the, uh, regular mic holding hands on there, there is white wrist tape under it, and then you do have the, uh, shield, uh, the shield crotch piece that has, you know, the, uh, it has the white belt, and then, you know, the white marks, the white and red tally marks, and the knee pads with white tally marks, and then white boots, and then a Triple H head with the hair painted black, because, I don't have nothing to sculpt the head on the Wade Barrett head, but that's that. So just showing you that. And so that's basically going to be the end of the review. So I will see you guys on the next. Well, technically, I guess I'll see you guys at Royal Rumble.